Hey guys, it is Mark Co for the 8th of October, Monday, Columbus Day here in the U.S. So I can't really say it was um, a total waste of a day quieter in some markets, and some markets had some volatility. I wanted to take a look at the E-minis just because it was a very volatile kind of intraday uh, type activity. It was funny, early this morning you had a lot of CNBC commentators, financial news, that were all up in a roar with 10-year yields up approaching three and a quarter, and they were looking at a... Uh, move lower in stocks over the last week and they just were all over themselves and all all excited about the downside but what I wanted to look at and as we approach the uh, beginning of this new 5k challenge again the trades I'm going to be calling out for the room look at how the prep work is done and how how this is um, called out and, and what you see today so uh, again this is e-minis so let's start again how I do it which is top-down analysis and so we're, what we're looking at here is a a move higher in the e-minis over the course of several years and all we're doing is um, focusing in on support resistance levels right the levels I'm using but I want to focus in on where the market was able to actually bottom today and, and look at how it was diagnosed so again you have the early August highs market moves lower comes back test those same highs again right around the 2868 level blast through there so you have big large buying through a high this again is kind of late August retest of that level in early September okay so now the focus comes down to this area right now we're focused on again the big breakout and the subsequent test of that area and that's what brings us into what we saw today and I'm gonna dial it down to the shorter term and show you what this looks like again this is the edge you're pulling from so you have this from early August today is October 8th it's two months all we've done is dial in on that area so again as all the uh, fan favorite CNBC guys are talking about and gals are talking about a, a sell-off in the market look what you're look what you're designing so what you understand is you're trading into support and as I talked about in the session last night the idea is always to to come into support as a buyer and resistance as a seller so again this is just a daily look as you take that on down to something dealable right now we're talking about how do we deal on it intraday well we have a, a lot of ways to look at it but let's let's think about how it's actually captured because now you know you're looking at this 28 68 to 74 area right you know you're dialed in on 68 to 74 and you know that from two months ago right it didn't it didn't start today so let's get up to 68 to 74 all right so now you know you're focused on this zone as support now what do you see once you get to this zone this is middle of the day in the e-minis right the S&P futures the e-minis here's your buy count which again is giving you the signal now all we're doing is dialing in on what is our bottom edge within this zone okay so now you know you're within that larger zone show me where bottom edge is within that zone what creates the bottom edge the lows and a move off of the lows right that's now the bottom edge so where does your buy actually occur anywhere in that edge with buy signal you are now at a valid bottom edge with very tight risk you're talking a handful of points look what the reaction is that's a 20 plus point reaction thousand dollar move on one contract in the S&P and the important part is where what what did you use to diagnose it because that's the part that gets repeated that's the part that gets repeated so good stuff hope you guys join us for the challenge but we'll keep up on it here in the videos and keep recapping for the 8th of October it's Marco hope you guys are having a great start to your week and uh, look to pick up with a little more activity tomorrow as we get out of out of this little kind of mini holiday I guess I would phrase it a lot of people are still working today so we'll go from there cheers guys